University, and in case you haven't noticed a woman, um, I'm really proud to be associated with both programmes, even if it is just at the moment by offering our campus for the teaching and support of these programmes. And I think that the WIN network in Mauritius has done a fantastic job. You've heard it was first opened in 2006, and it was inspired by Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. And I think that's a really important idea to hold on to. And I think that there are also the aspirations, in a way, of Middlesex University. I think we share a lot of the, the win thinking and ideas. We also want to develop successful leaders who can influence decision making in all spheres, to promote equality for men and women in all spheres, to create opportunities for the development of skills and knowledge at all levels. And I think this is important. We start learning when we're um, in our mother's arms and we never stop. I think there's always something new to learn. You may ask why are these programs needed? And I thought about what I was going to say tonight and there were so many things I could have shared with you. I've been in Mauritius for two years now, and when I first came, I seemed to be asked very often, how did I get to be a campus director? And had it been really difficult for me, because I was a woman, to find a job where I could be respected and have an equal opportunity to, to all my male colleagues? I found this initially a strange question. I hadn't thought about it in those terms. But when I did think about it, I realized that at many points during my career, I've experienced the very common view that women are simply not cut out to be leaders. Sheila Sifer.
University of St. Josh, in Andres, and then Howard. And currently, Microsoft is offering support to disseminate the wide of Africa. Now, the wide is a photo of 14 with new codes, right? It's the company CD. When it starts, you can start the training, the able training pack. With the training pack, we have a few main parts. Part number one is really about self learning. So you get into the training, you actually got a lot of homework to do on your own. Part number two, you get into the last pack and you work back on your homework. And part number three, it's about practice. There's no way out of it. You want to be on a career, it's about trying, trying, trying out until you make it. This year we are very, very fortunate that the one was launched on a fully sponsored basis, free of charge, and leading the support. Launching the UAB is winning, of course, with the main sponsor, Microsoft, in emotional and compassionate guidance, with partners GCI Kirby, IMSU, Middlesex University, and these trainers are Master Trainer and Harbour Yoglet, and Mega Art Trainer. The target when we launched the wide public, for the first time we decided to do it. For the first time we said it's going to be both men and women. And the target is going to be 50 persons. That is 25 persons for a full time batch and 25 persons for a part time batch. But we exceeded our expectation. Guess what happened? We ended up having 29 persons for the full time batch and 35 persons for the part-time batch and say massive. Massive for this message saying that people out there will learn. People out there will get better. People out there will understand what entrepreneurship is all about. But what is exactly the why? It's a training, of course. It's a training program. Yes, you come and learn. If I have to explain it similar to you, I would use it and swimming. How many of you have never been to a swimming lesson classes before? How many of you actually swim but they've never attended any swimming class? So we're called how we very happy to see you in the beginning, you know? <laughs> so, to be wise, like Minga said, it was about swimming. Actually, I'm an entrepreneur for five years now. And you ask me, I'm always an entrepreneur, I have my own business, why did I join the wise well, at first, I was kind of reluctant. I said, what am I going to learn there? Handcraft, all the stuff like uh, how to go to a fair, like organize and everything. I just said, okay, let me go. Anyway, it's not going to be a big deal. It's free, so let's go. <laughs> I was like, surprised. But happy surprise. Because, of course, there were men. You, very few, but there were so many women, like from so many different backgrounds, but who came up with such wonderful ideas. And I was like, oh my god, I was such a silly girl to think that I was the only one with a big idea. And it was kind of true because I thought I was uh, running my business for five years. And eventually, my business started to drown. And BY became a big floater. But mind you, BYB is not about spoon feeding. Never did Mega or Bruno take us on the back and swam. We did our own swimming, but BYB provided floaters. So, what did I learn through BYB, you ask? When I started my business five years back, I was like all full of myself, like I'm going to go out and kick everyone who said I couldn't do anything. Of course, I did kick some people, but they did. But at one point, I lacked something. And it was only when I started BYD that I knew what I lacked. One of the things we learned at BYD 